What's up YouTube, Nick here. Today I'm here with the Atomus Ninja 5. If you guys get a look at that real fast. We're gonna open it up, unbox it. Been waiting for this for a long time. I uh, had some experience with the Atomus uh, Ninja Infernos and the bigger ones before. I can't shoot with it today because I don't have the hard drives. They won't get here till Monday, but I wanted to at least open it up, check it out in comparison to what's on my camera right now, which is the uh, small HD, the focus. This is gonna give me the external recording for the uh, GH5S and the GH5. Uh, so right now, rigged up on the GH5S, I have the uh, 12 to 60 on here, and then the 18 to 35 Sigma uh, with the Metabones adapter. We're gonna open this up, take a look at it. Uh, really excited to get using this. Hopefully Monday we'll be able to get some shots. Let's take a look. All right, so as you can see, it comes with the screen, the caddy, which you can put an SSD hard drive in with the screws, the power adapter, which the power adapter you have to put on the, uh, the end that would be good for your country. So this is, you know, standard US 110, 120. This is the uh, battery eliminator plug into the power right here. And you can get ones that have like uh, Cat5 or Cat6 on, on the back here and, and there's different adapters. So I think they're gonna be making more of these adapters that can do different things. Little booklet, instruction manual, and then you'll need to have like an HDMI, I think 2.0 at least cord. So this is the cord that a lot of people use for like the Infernos, even like the small HDs. So you wanna have that. And then that would plug into your HDMI uh, into the recorder and then off to your camera. So what we're gonna do, I did, uh, I did say that I couldn't shoot today I was able to find a hard drive that'll work for this using the caddy. Now with the caddy, when you plug in an external hard drive, so you'll plug your hard drive into this caddy, slide it in here, it'll connect, but you can see it sticks out. So the drives that are coming Monday would get rid of this extra space and they're designed to fit into this screen, which is really nice. I, I will do a, a little size uh, picture comparison to the small HD, but I'm using it right now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna find a screwdriver and we're gonna open this caddy up. Throw that there. Now this is a Western Digital Blue Drive, 500 gig. There's a list of recommended drives on Atomus website. If you pull down the menu for the recorder you have, they'll show you the tested drives and what they're capable of. Grab this here. Small little Phillips. Actually this Phillips might be too small. I don't know if this has, if I have a, we're going to make it work. Screw the drive into this caddy. You probably want to put them in loose first and then tighten them down once you get them all in so if the drive moves around a little, kind of even it up. I do got to steal a battery either from the small HD I never thought about ordering it they do make it with the battery kit and I should have probably got that I do have some batteries laying around but they're all used for different devices that I have so we'll tighten this drive down now so that's done take this here make sure that connects slide it in boom we're in Feels pretty pretty secure. I, I wouldn't be dropping this or anything like that. I mean, it's plastic. Now the recorder itself, the Atomus recorder, is built. I mean, it's it's like a type like a like a hard hardened maybe like a light anodized aluminum or something. I don't. I don't. There's probably specs on the website, and I should have probably looked them up. But I wanted to give you guys a real uh, I wanted to give you guys a real review, just out of the box. So that's good there. It's good there. I don't know. If, this battery will power it. Let's see here. I don't even know how much is on uh, 
it's only 2200 so that one's not going to last as long but that's what it looks like with the smaller battery and the bigger battery will stick out a little bit it last i think they recommend a 50 uh 50 200 milliamp hour or 7800 milliamp hour and that would give you up to three hours and then the four cell 5200 would give you four hours so this is probably going to last like an hour or something so let's see what uh what we got here i guess i should get a mount out and throw it on a camera we'll see if this will power it up now you can hear the fan there's a fan slot on the bottom so you heard the fan turn on a little bit i don't think you'd kind of get an idea that's not too loud so it's saying no input right now on the screen Oh, look at the screen. Quarter 20 on each side. Screen quality looks really good. All your different settings. You can go through input, output, record, your file, audio, everything else. So we'll uh, we'll go into that. Mic line, headphone port, remote port. Pretty nice. I wonder how we should, uh, what if we could throw this on a, on a camera. Got the GH5. Give it a little input. And boom. There you go. Sweet. Wow, that's really clear. I'm actually I'm actually <laughs> viewing uh, viewing this camera from, from this one and that looks really, really good. The audio levels look good, everything can move stuff around on the screen. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can tap to hide everything. I'll have to go through all the settings, but it looks looks really good. I guess that'll be the next step, but we are set up. I'll try to get some footage. They don't give you a mount or anything like the small HD has the articulating arm. What I could probably do is set this up for now. Okay, I could use this mount for right now, which is really just a little ball mount. I don't really want to use that. I have a mount that's probably really good for the screen. I actually really like these Klein bags. I think they're made for electricians, but they work really well. Here we go. So this is probably what I'll use. This is a small rig mount. And what I'll probably do is mount this onto my small rig. And then connect this up but for right now since I don't have the small rig set up we'll see if we can make this guy here work it was pretty tight there just mount this guy so that's set up now and as you can see give you a little oh it's gonna be tough to see that screen I'll give you a size size comparison to uh, small HD but looks pretty accurate with the timing all right so that's a uh, little quick unboxing of the ninja 5 gonna go out there and try to get some footage with it I'll probably set up the small rig cage on it this way I can mount it properly I do like this little small rig mount that just really you know, I just think it's gonna be much better this screens pretty light feels pretty accurate definitely when you're zoomed in yeah, I mean, it's easy to nail focus on that. It looks really, really, really good. So, excited we've had some crappy weather. It's um, probably around 38, 40 degrees out. So, actually, it's probably like 36 tonight. I think we're, we're going to be closing in on some freezing temperatures here real soon. So, I'll probably try to get some footage tomorrow with it. See how it, see how it works. It's going to be nice to be able to record to an SSD. And then you'll have to have an SSD adapter for USB-C to, to transfer to a MacBook if you're trying to go to like a Mac. And they make a couple different adapters for that. Other than that, looks really. I'm really impressed with uh, the overall appearance and build quality. It's gonna be nice to get rid of that size, uh, the the hard drive on Monday, and have that come in a little bit. Because I mean, I guess right now it kind of protects the HDMI cord a little bit, but it's gonna be nice to to have that. It'll be a little bit smaller, probably maybe a little lighter. I don't, I don't know if it'll be much lighter, but so it's definitely pretty bright in comparison to the the flip out screen, which I still like the flip out screen. But I can even tell right now, if I nail focus here, 
been a, I mean, it's it's quick. I can actually see it a lot easier on the screen. So I think if you do get this screen for the price in comparison to like the small HD and everything else, I think you're really gonna enjoy it. I think it's it adds a lot of value to the camera. Of course, you can shoot <laughs> so much so much more in depth, but um, I think you can add custom LUTs to it and really see what your footage is gonna look like after grading. It's gonna be really awesome. I'm really excited. Thought I'd do the unboxing. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for hanging out for a few minutes. I know this is a quick one. It's nothing crazy. There's tons of other reviews on this screen that will go into depth way more than I will. But I'm I'm pretty happy that uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. So thanks again. Hope you all are doing well. We'll talk soon.